Kate Haber's like any other softball star shortstop, except she's playing with five scars in her shoulder. A couple of years ago, Kate Haber was involved in what they thought was a minor traffic accident. She was shaking up a little bit, but nothing was hurt. She started to play ball again, but noticed she couldn't throw as well as she had, and she was getting pain. Finally, after an MRA, they found out she had a torn rotator cuff. Kate, how on earth did you come back from two rotator cuff surgeries to make it for this? Um, well, a lot of hard work. I, you know, after my first injury, my first surgery, I did a ton of rehab. About six months was the period of time where I was supposed to be back and ready to go. And after spending hours upon hours in the training room um, and working my butt off to be actually physically in shape as well, my arm was just not where it needed to be. And um, after a second MRA and getting pictures looked at, it was clear that I needed another surgery. And you know, it was it was a big pushback at first, and um, but I just I think I was strong enough mentally and physically to do it, and I had the surgery, and, and with the support of my team at my at my university and, and the trainers, I was able to pull it out, and, and I'm lucky and I'm fortunate to be able to play today. The former University of Vermont star refused to allow her playing days to end, not with the Maccabia games on the horizon. The arm surgeries, uh, rehab is very painful, and uh, she's worked extremely hard to get back to where she was before. It's an amazing testament to her because quite frankly her softball playing career is, was over at, uh, in college and uh, she really wanted to come to Israel and participate in this event and, uh, and she worked her way back to be here so it's a really an amazing story. You know these girls, the games, the people, knowing that I would be coming to Israel and playing it was inspiration enough to keep with it and stay with it. I'd been to Israel once before but this is something beyond belief. Um, the girls, the, the sites, the teams, I mean playing competition like Israel and Canada and Argentina, it's just something beyond anything I'd ever imagined so that was enough to get me going. What does it feel like stepping on a field in Israel with Jewish teammates and Jewish opponents? It's, it's something I actually never thought I'd be able to do. It's something I obviously had never imagined and it's it's inspirational to play as best as I can and to play for my teammates and to play for my country um, it's amazing I love it it's great it's great but so is Kate Haber or she wouldn't be at these games as the starting shortstop on the top rated team at the Maccabia games but is she as great as she was prior to her pair of rotator cuff surgeries I hadn't thrown a softball for about a year and two months after my both my surgeries and so I basically had to relearn how to play uh, that in itself was a challenge, both mentally and physically, but um, slowly but surely I was able to do it. I think my mechanics have probably changed a little. I actually probably throw better than I ever have because I relearned how to throw the right way. Everyone has their little quirks the way they throw, and I actually learned the correct mechanics. And I think I'm stronger than I've ever been, and, and I'm ready to play. She's fielding her position better than ever. But how is she at the plate? Her hitting's been the slowest thing to come back. Um, we're hoping she hasn't had a lot of uh, at-bats prior to here, but uh, the last few days she's been coming around, and hopefully today she's going to put the bat on the ball and get it out there. Some would say Kate is out there when it comes to her other participation in women's softball. She's also an assistant coach at Holy Cross. An interesting place for a Jewish kid, but she uh, loves the game and uh, she was able to get an opportunity at the University of Vermont to, to play. Unfortunately, Vermont dropped their program. Uh, when they dropped their program, she had a chance to go coach at Holy Cross University, so that's where she did her graduate assistant work last year. The main thing is how Kate is doing this year, and this year she's doing fine, even after her two rotator cuff surgeries. You know, I knew that the Maccabi games were coming, and I was working hard to play and stay with it, and, and I was able to pull it out. The love of Judaism and playing in Eretz Yisrael inspired Kate Haber to overcome two operations and painful rehab to make it here and help her team toward a gold medal. Reporting from Kibbutz Gesher, I'm Steve Grad. now back to the studio on Mitch.